everyone i am god rajkumar singh rathod welcome to flyer expo towards infinity and in this video we going to learn how to draw an ellipse using arc of circle method and the question is the major axis of an ellipse is 150 mm long and the minor axis is 100 mm long find the foci and draw the ellipse draw a tangent to the ellipse at a point on it 25 mm above the major axis so we have the length of the major axis and length of the minor axis and we have to construct an ellipse using arc of circle method and we also have to show the foci of the ellipse and uh, one more question is there in this question indicated question and this is draw an tangent on that ellipse at an point which is 25 mm above the major axis okay so draw major axis and minor axis bisecting each other at an right angle at point o so major axis is 150 mm long and minor axis is 100 mm long they are bisecting each other at point o this is ab and this is cd now take c as center and half of ab which is ao as diameter sorry as radius and cut arc on ab so this is how we will cut arc this will be here and same at here so these two points are f1 and f2 are the foci of our ellipse they are the focus point of our ellipse now we have got focus point now we have to take uh, let's say random number of points between f1 and o let's say three points 1 2 and 3 these three point help us to get the points which will be on the ellipse to construct our ellipse okay now what we have to do is take f1 and f2 as centers and a to 1 as radius and draw arc both side of ab okay so f1 is our center and a to 1 this is our radius okay so take this draw arc here draw another arc here take f2 as center and draw arc both side okay the radius is same for both uh, all four arcs but the center is different here center is f1 and here center is f2 now take b 2 1 this one this much length okay this length as radius and center same f1 and f2 and draw another arc when you take this as radius and f1 as center the arc will intersect this arc and this arc okay so we will get two point these points are on the required ellipse now again the length is same for radius which is b21 b21 and first we will take b A to one. Okay, so take the same length and center as F two and draw two arcs, and these arcs will intersect the previous arc at these points. So here we have got four points which are on the required ellipse. Now using the same method from each point, we can get more number of points to draw an ellipse. Okay, do the same. From point two, take f one and f two as center, but this time we will be taking this much length, which is a to two. Okay, this will be something here from again f two, and then take b two as radius, which is this one. B two and draw another arc. This arc will cut here, and this arc will cut here. When we putting a uh, bonus center, and this a center, this will cut here something like that. 
Okay, so this will be something like that. We have got four more points. Using the same method from the third point also, we can get two more points. Sorry, four more points. Okay, this time take F1 and F2 as center again, but the length will be A3 and B3. Means A23 that much distance and B23 that much distance. So first take A23 as distance and draw arc here also. Now take B23 that much distance as radius from F1. It will intersect here and it will intersect here. From F2 it will intersect here. So we have sufficient number of points to draw our ellipse. Using these all points, we will be joining these points with a smooth curve to get our required ellipse. It must be something like that. So now we have our ellipse. Now we have to draw a tangent which is 25 mm above from the AB. So draw a line 25 mm above the AB. Okay. Let's say this intersection point as X. Now this point X from F1 and F2. And draw a angle bisector of this angle F1, X, F2. Angle F1, X, F2. Draw a angle bisector of this angle. So, uh, drawing an angle bisector is very easy. If you want to draw an angle bisector of this angle, what you need to do is open your divider, cut two arcs, open it larger, cut another two arcs, and this is how you can draw an angle bisector. Using the same method, I will be drawing it here. So this angle bisector is normal at this point and a line perpendicular to this will be a tangent on this line at this ellipse. Okay. So the line, this line which is perpendicular to the normal NN is the tangent TT at a point which is on this ellipse which is 25 mm above from the line AB. So this is how you can construct an ellipse using arc of circle method. So if you like the content then please click on the like button, do share this video to all your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. You can ask any question in the comment section below.